The collection of Astrid Uhlenden has close to 6,000 photographs. It was collected over the last 25, 30 years. And I went through it just to get an idea of what it is. And the more I got into it, the more I was fascinated by the collection. Because it is a unique collection. I don't know of any other collection who is built up like this. The collection of Astrid Uhlens is completely different. She doesn't buy one photograph, the best photographs. She buys 10 photographs. You could even say she buys minimum 10 photographs, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50. What does this tell us? She doesn't concentrate on the best photographs, but she purchases the idea of the photographer. She purchases his concept, which is his thinking in photography, which is only possible to read and see when you have a variety of photographs in front of him. So this is this incredible, unique collection showing 10, 20, 30, 40 photographs of each photographer she has purchased. Maybe the strongest parts of the collection are between 1970 and 2010. In there, she has, from my point of view, of the best photographers in the world, like Bernd and Hilla Becher, Louis Boltz, Larry Sultan and Mike Mandel, Martha Rossler, Hans-Peter Feldmann, Jim Goldberg, etc. Most of them are connected to the structural change of looking at art the linguistification of art in the 60s and 70s. Artists change the attitude of making art and visitors change the attitude of receiving art. It's no longer about this unique and wonderful image where we stand in front of it and we stare at the image, but we understand the image as a visual speech, as an artist speaking to us, speaking with us, speaking about the world. And not having one image, but maybe a row of image, maybe a block of image, maybe a wave of image. We use the word linguification of it, structuralism, where we start to understand the images as a language. It's still a documentary photographer, but it's a conceptualized documentary photographer. It wants to tell us more complex realities than before.